as we gather here uh, each and every day, God's willing, right? Each and every day, please, please, everyone, please remember to pray for each other each and every day. Each and every day, pray for each other. When you are praying, whenever you do your praise, whether it's at night, in the morning, please keep each other in pray. Because we don't know, a lot of us don't know unless somebody tells us. We don't know what the other person is going through. There might be a lot of people that comes here each and every day and they're going through so much in their life, no matter what it is, whether it's financially, mentally, physically, they're going through so many things, right? And I just want to have it be a reminder that we, we must, we should, we should at least pray for each other each and every day. I, I wouldn't come here and tell you things that people tell me or people share with me. They wouldn't come here and speak either because of the way how this blue app is and people don't feel free to even type anything in here about what's going on with them because other malicious people will come and they would run with it. For what reason, right? It's not funny. But remember to keep each other in prayer each and every day. Keep me in prayer as well because nobody knows what the other person is going through unless they tell you or they tell a friend. And there's not, you can't keep friends. You can't really have friends like before, way back in the, the days. You know what I mean? This world has become a place now where people don't even keep friends or they don't have friends like that anymore. I can't tell you the last day that I actually had a real true friend. All right. And I'm not lying. That's a true statement there. Friends are hard to come by. If you have friends from way back, way, way back, and they're still loyal and they're still your friends, you got the good ones. You got the real ones. But in this day and age, you can't have friends. You can't keep friends. There's not people that you can even call your friends. I don't call people my friends that easy. It's maybe acquaintances that we met along the way. But true real friends that you can tell certain things to, be grateful, be thankful. And yes, I found that here on the Blue app as well, within Mama. And Mama will tell you as well that me personally, oh, it took me a long time before I even share certain things with Mama. Because that's who I am. I don't share things with people that easy. But just wanted to put that out there this morning because we come here each and every day and we have become friends family we've met so many people along the way people that we can talk to look at tina right now she's at another sister's house in tampa that she met right here on the blue app so that's what i'm talking about right we meet each other we talk to each other so pray for each other as well because we don't know what people are going through all right my people so and i saw you guys put a lot of stuff in there um Grace said, it's difficult to trust. And you're absolutely correct. I agree with you totally. Totally, totally. It is very difficult to trust and very hard to trust, especially when the world that we are living in is not friendly anymore. People are not friendly anymore like that. They just want to know your business or know what's going on with you so that they can go out there and they can start spilling things about you, talking about you in a negative way, and then you say, you start beating yourself up, right? Sunshine Divine said, jealousy, strife, and envy. Nevertheless, we need, we need others in our life. Absolutely right. We do need others in our life. But we also get to a place where we know who to keep at a distance, who to bring here, who to bring here, and keep it moving. Because everybody, you cannot have them come close to you like that. Because the moment they come close to you, guess what? Boom. They're ready to punch you in the back. For what reason, right? Sometimes for no reason. Just because that's who they are. So, again, we're here. We're here. And many people that come here can tell you that if they told me something along the path of being here, it was never repeated. Never repeated. Unless they wanted me to say it to get others' opinions, then yes. But I still wouldn't call their name. So, we're going to keep it like that. Uh, Sunshine Divine said, I have two awesome friends. I will do anything for them, and I know likewise. You are blessed. You're blessed to have them. So hold on to them, keep them, and be good to them as well. 
uh, Valentine Porter said you are very blessed it's hard to find that nowadays okay all right you're responding to I think it looked like Charmaine so let us chat here today my people so you see my caption if I can remember what it was I typed it but why do some people only focus on focus on negative versus positive things and I say some people right because everybody is not like that there is a lot of people that they, they, they see the good, they see the positive in a lot of things, and they would applaud it. They would congratulate. They would say that, wow, that person is doing really great for themselves. But then there's another set of people that they will see it, but what would they do? They see it clearly, but they would never cheer it. They would never say, good job. You're doing great. No, no, no. They only want to pick on bad negative things that's happening because they want other people to see you in that negative bad light i'm gonna call it. i'm gonna use the word bad right because that's the way how they look at it they laugh about it like it's a joke but the moment that you do good the moment that something positive is happening in your life they would never cheer you on they can't be that cheer person to say wow she's doing great congratulations and I ask myself, why are some people like that? <laughs> Delray said, because they're bitter and not happy with themselves. And you are absolutely correct. Those are two of the things, right? Because sometimes it's jealousy as well that steps in. They're so jealous of you, of the positive things, the good things that are happening for you, the good things that you are doing in your life and the life of others that they can't cheer that on. Because why? They can't do it or they don't want to do it because bad they're bad minds right the way how they are um let me look on my other phone because i saw somebody put a good comment in there oh let me refresh uh georgia said period i don't talk bad about people you shouldn't right we we give our reactions and our opinions out here about things that are happening things that are brought out that we want to give our reaction opinion about and then we leave it we leave it we go on to our day and just continue living our life some people don't do that. Some people go to another step of doing things that are worse than that. So Selma said, I have two for over 30 years, two friends for over 30 years. They are my sisters from another mother, and I love them. Bless you, darling. You are blessed to have that. Uh, Grace said, I never mind how people, how they behave. They are not model of my life. Period, right? Uh... I start from myself to do good. Amen. Because that's exactly where it starts. It starts with you. Because if you look at what others are doing, then it might you might kind of think about it, right? Not that it's going to rub off on you, but you shouldn't look at what others are doing. Just be you. Be you. Because you are your own person at the end of the day. So, uh, Sunshine Divine said, My God, were you in my kitchen yesterday? What do you mean by that? Were you talking to somebody about that? Let's see here. She said, my husband is right here listening to you. Most times we are at work. Here now we are laying in bed listening and saying, wow, real talk. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. It is God himself. It is God himself that does it truly. I tell you a lot of times, a lot of times, I might not know the night before what I'm going to talk about. Then in the morning time, I'm still kind of weighing it out, weighing it out. What should I talk about today? Should I talk about that or should I talk about this? So I feel like this is needed because as we're coming to a close of 2023, it is good to reflect. It's good to look around at life itself because, hello, so many people are gone. So many people pass from the 19. So many people passed away from cancer, different things that has happened. And we are still here. How are we going to live out the rest of our life? How are we going to spend our time? Are we going to spend our time hating on other people, even when they're doing good in their life? Or are we going to live life to the fullest and focus on positive things? Focus on living a fruitful life for the rest of our lives and doing good as well, not doing bad to other people or not even doing bad at all in the world. Because sometimes it's not always about doing it to other people. It's just that you're just that kind of person that you're just evil and wicked. And you just do nothing but evil in this world. 
Is that how you're going to live the rest of your life? When you're gone, what's going to happen to your children? What kind of memories are you going to leave with, leave with them? Especially if they're seeing and hearing some of the things that you are doing. How are they going to come up? Let me read some more. Let me read some more, my people. Let me see. Oh, Lord, my comments went wonky. One moment. Let me refresh. Let me refresh. Let's go up here. So it's not going to let me go all the way back. But Georgia said we should pray for people, not talk down on anyone. The mouth is a sword. You just said it right there. Because, again, so many people are going through. So many. And when people tell you some of the things that they're going through and what they're dealing with, and mentally where they're at, whether it's stress, whatever it is that they're going through. And you say, wow, I would have never even known that. I would have never even known that she was dealing with all of this, you know. But sometimes people don't have to tell you. Not because a person, you see a person, right? They look good. They're going about. They dress. They're clean and everything. Things look like it's going good for them in their life. Sometimes that's far from the truth. If they sat down and they told you just a little bit, you will be like, wow, oh my God. I didn't know she was going through all of that. I didn't know she was dealing with all of that. But other people that are negative, if they know it, if they hear it, guess what? They're going to laugh about it. Whereas if you talk to people who truly love others and care about others and want the best for others, they're going to be in that positive lane of saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear this. I didn't know you were going through. What can I do? To help so let me see here let me see if this phone is gonna refresh my let me just refresh this one all right because I miss um sunshine divines comment there and it's a long one hey Jesus help me today all right man so sunshine divine says some people we call friends should be left in 2023 period you just said it right there some family members we just have to love and pray for them amen and keep them out your house and business too. Period. You just said it right there, darling. Exactly. Because sometimes your own family, right? They don't wish the best for you sometimes, right? They don't want to see good things happen for you because it's not happening for them. So you are absolutely correct. Our grace said, Holy Spirit is with you there, sister, Miss Sweet Peach. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. So Delray is saying, free total running scared she trying hard not to bash. Well, sometimes they wait too late, right? Well, I mean, it's never too late, but it's never too late to turn around. Never too late to turn around. So Elizabeth M. said, good morning, Simply Sweet Peach and everyone in the house. I hope you have a lovely Chris had a lovely Christmas, and I wish you a happy new year. Thank you so much, darling. Same to you as well. Happy new year to each and every one. And thank you all for all of your support. Keep the love and lights going. This is our morning coffee breakfast everything angela jack jackman said can have a friend but keep your business to yourself keep them at arm's length yes a lot of them a lot of them because there's some that are not like that it's hard to tell who is who especially in this day and age right very hard that's why truly at my age i don't think that i would I'm not going to say that, okay, because I love Mama dearly and, you know, I can share anything with Mama. She's a woman of God and she always gives great advice, woman of wisdom. That's why anytime any of you come to me, whether it's in a text or you call me or whatever, I would always say, you know what, I'm going to keep you in prayer. But I would also love for you to talk to Mama because I know that Mama can go into a more deeper pray if needed or whatever that would help more that's why I go in that direction and you can trust her kathy howard said i only tell people what i want them to know i talk to god when i want to vent okay there you go who else right but god i agree with you as well darling so georgia Ree said women people always envy me for no reason at all yeah there's a lot of them out there in this world and then you wonder how is it that they're living like that. How is it that they're living like that? And, they, and some of them think that it's so funny to sit back and laugh at situations, laugh at things. Like it is, life is not a joke, truly. Nothing wrong with laughing at things sometimes when it's funny, when it is funny, right? But when it's not, why are you going to laugh at it? Why are you going to make a joke about it? For what reason? What's it going to do for you? 
Is it going to better your life? No, it's not. It will not make you a better person. So I said, why do it? So let's see here. Um, George Erie also said, I have two male friends, no females, I guess is what you're saying here. Let me refresh this other one. For some reason, I think it went wonky because it is saying 39 people are on here. But let me refresh because you guys put some really great things in here today. Exactly. Grace said, I, I go always in hard situations directly to the Lord. Amen. Who else, right? Uh, my husband just said, Sunshine Divine, let me read that. Let me refresh this here. My husband just said, some like wolves in sheep clothing. True. Absolutely correct on that one as well. <laughs> Claudette Miller said, good morning, Sweet Peach and everyone else. Sweet Peach, they are acting that way because they need Jesus. I'm telling you, they need something in their life, right? So I can make them a better person in this world. <laughs> Thank you, um... Uh, for Sharon H. Thank you for posting that. So let me expand this one here. Um, Caddy said, good morning, Sweet Peach Mama, M, Tina, and all beautiful ladies on this show. Completely agree with that statement. I tend to think jealousy or hate starts with close relatives or friends. Think of Jesus' story when Peter betrayed him. I no longer trust anyone with sharing stuff, especially in the beginning of growing my projects all work true you're right because a lot of that is in the workplace as well right a lot a lot a lot and i tell you if i tell you some stories no matter where you work where you are and people think that when you're working at home and it's virtually that that don't happen trust me it happened okay it happened it happened to me before even working at home so uh grace said when people are in hard situations tell them there's a living God. They should become close to him and help, and he will help them. Absolutely. And keep praying and trusting God. Everything that you do, trust God. No matter what you're going through. No matter if you're stressed out, if you have issues in your marriage, your family, your children, no matter what it is, you got to trust God and take everything to him and pray. Jennifer Campbell said, create in us a clean heart, O God. Show us your perfect will for us. Amen. Forgive our hatefulness towards others this coming year. Give us a mind like Christ. Amen. I love that, Jennifer. Love that. Um, Jelnar Webb. Hope I pronounced the name correctly. Forgive me if I didn't. Something happens every day. Strong, 100%. You are so correct about that. Yes. And that's why we call it life, right? Life. This is a life that we're living. We are borrowing the suit here on this earth. We are borrowing it. How are you using it? How are you going to continue to use it moving forward? What resolutions or what are you going to change moving forward from this year of 2023? Because you don't even know if you're going to live to see the whole year of 2024. You don't even know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to be here next week. You don't know if you're going to make it to see the first of the new year. So the question is, when you look, when you talk to yourself, when you talk to God, when you look in the mirror, what is going to be your plans for the new year? What are you going to change or going to ask God to change within you is the question. Are you going to continue to be a negative, jealous-minded, bad, evil, wicked person? Or are you going to go on the positive side to be a better person? Ask God to make you a better person, to be on the good side of things in life. And to focus on positive instead of the negatives. And they need to say, unfortunately, people have their own agenda. True. And truly do not care about one another. And they're just looking to spread your secret. <laughs> and you are correct. If you let them know, right? And even if you don't let them know, we have seen it. We have heard it on this blue app here. Where people will go and dig up. Even things. I know you said looking to spread your secrets. But what about the ones that go dig up things that you didn't share with them? Or you weren't ready to share with them? Or you didn't intend to share with them at all? What about those types, right? So when we talk about people that spread your secrets, let's talk about the ones that go and bring out things too. Or the ones that they see something and they run with it and they twist it to their own narratives. You know? So I don't know if I want to be able to go back on everyone's 
Emmanuel, hello, hello. He said, you are right, Real Talk Mama. Thank you, thank you. All right, I think I went back as far as I can. If I miss your comment, it was not intentionally, so forgive me. I'm only human. There we go. Karen Rowell said, yes, when people happen to call me or see me at the grocery store, they ask, what's going on? <laughs> and I tell them only things they can say. Wow. And you're correct, right? Because... If somebody sees me at the grocery store and they haven't seen me in a while, they say, what's, what's going on with you? You know, what's been going on in your life? I would just say, nothing much. You know, I'm just living life and thanking God to each and every day. I would say things like that, you know, but not to go and say, oh, yeah, you know, I was working and this happened to me and now I'm out from work. And no, 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 I'm not going to start going on that road because hello. Chances are, even if you know the person for a long period of time, why are you going to go down that road anyways when it's not called for, right? Nothing much. Just living life, getting by day by day. That's it. And leave it and move on. You didn't give them too much at all. They go and tell somebody, you know, I saw Carol down the street. I saw Carol at the grocery store or whatever. Yeah, you know, she, she looks good. You no, know, she's just hanging. You know, they can't say much about you because people will do that. Trust me, they will. But let's move on down. So uh, Hazel said they are called backstabbers and can't be trusted. Those type of people, absolutely, you said it. There's things that me personally that I know in my mind know. But you think that I will come and say things even if me and somebody fall out. Or if uh, they fall out, not me and not I fall out with them or whatever. You think that I will come and start boom, 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 boom. For what? What's that going to get me? Is it going to make me rich? Am I going to become a millionaire? No. So why waste my time, right? Uh, Kathy said, you must watch out for people that are always talking about others. True. It makes you wonder, what are they saying about you? Exactly. Right on point. Linda Mohammed, let me see if I can get yours. Oh my goodness. The screen is flipping and the other phone is not. You guys put a lot in there. Sorry. One moment. Uh, forgive me, my people, I'm trying, all right? So let me read this one. Linda Mohammed, I'm so sorry it flipped. Sweet Peach, this blue app has all, all created monsters. Oh, Jesus. Most people are just concerned about content. You're right about that as well. They will do anything to create content. They don't care who they have to step on to get what they want. And you are correct about that as well, right? And sometimes, to be honest, if I hear something or see something and I listen to it or somebody send it to me I would say this one here ain't got no content this one here trying to be relevant oh for, just ignore them I might tell the person that said that to me I don't always touch it because it don't make sense right so you are correct about that uh, okay so Tina S said I have been betrayed too much to deem anyone a friend. I only trust my kids and nieces, and those are enough confidence for me. And anything else, I run to God, the Father, full stop. Let me see. Yep. Nothing wrong with that, right? Nothing wrong with that. I don't even run to my kids with everything either, truly, because why? My kids are living their own life, doing their own things. I do not run to my kids with everything, truly. Even if I talk to my kids and I'm going to travel next week, I might just say to them, you know, I'm going this place or whatever, and that's it. But outside of that, I don't even go to my kids. If they were still living with me, yes. But because they're on their own, they're working, they're living their own life and doing their own thing. But they might call me. They might text me. I'm sorry, because my kids love to text. They're into texting even before they moved out. My oldest son, yes, he would message me, Mom, this is going on. Oh, could you believe that my car, this happened and whatever? Yes, he would do that. And my daughter as well, because my daughter's a panicky when it comes to anything. If a car breaks down on the road, she's calling her mama. Mom, can you believe this happened to my car? What do you think is going on? Because they always think that because, you know, I had a, a used car lot when we live in Tampa, they always think that I know something about the car. So if my daughter got any problem with the car, she called me. Mom, this is going on. Do you think it could be my radiator? Do you think it could be this? I'm like, wait, hold up, hold up, Tiffany, go back. Tell me what happened. Tell me what you see. And they do that all the time. That's when I would get a phone call, all right? Other than that, they text. But let's see here. Shalita said, 
I always say what worked for one person doesn't mean that it's for you. What has for you will only be for you. Period. Amen. Full stop right there. You said it. Because there's some people out here that they're very smart um, when it comes to like business, right? They are very business minded. There's another set that, man, they don't know head tails how to start a business or what to do or the next step or how to handle it or how to keep it going alive and seeing when it's floating and when it's going down. So a lot of people have different ways and that's how God made all of us anyways, right? We can't all be, all be the same. So in life, that's why we got negative and positive. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people that want to be on the negative and the bad side versus the positive and the good side. They want to see negativity in everything. No matter what you tell them, no matter how you encourage them, all they want to think is negative. What if? But, you know, hey, I don't see that happening. This. Those kind of people, let me tell you, stay away from them. Because those kind of people would also bring your spirits down. Especially if you are a person that's a positive person and you're always high, you know, high spirited and energy wise. Those kind of people will pull you down. So, you know, know who to hang with sometimes. Well, let's move on down. So, let's see here. Let me expand this one. Lord have mercy. Sunshine Divine said, some of our problems are we expect too much from others who don't know how to love and respect others. True. People can't give what is not planted in them. Period. When you're down, you have a circle. Start achieving things. Uh, look at trouble. Look at bad mouthing. <laughs> look at lies. Lies is right, right? Best thing to do is to ask God for discernment and start oh lord it's gonna flip one more and start to filter them out period keep when a circle small now that's a big journey you know keep when a circle small trust god with everything <laughs> look thank you darling now you're bringing me back today right to the bed and keep when a circle small period oh my goodness cassandra Reece said i roll and ride solely minding my business Period, exactly right. Because let me tell you guys something, and Mama can attest to this as well. I tell you guys, when I leave here in the morning, my focus is not like around the blue app looking for content to talk about. I just mind my business, do video on my talk show, focus on my mind. If she's going to be preaching, what she's preaching about today, coming and getting that caption going. A lot of times I would see things. When I come back to upload a video, or when I come to go and write the caption on the, the preaching page, that's how it comes. Or if somebody sends me something, because a lot of times people send me videos to watch. I might tap it, go listen, be like, ah, oh, this person just looking for clout, this person just looking for content, right? And I just keep moving. But outside of that, minding my business indeed. But if something comes along that I want to talk about, I talk about it, because that's who I am. So... Grace said, it was long time I was against the blue app, but today I changed my mind. And blue and wonderful page too. For example, Facebook page name Simply Sweet Peach. Oh, thank you, Grace. That's our very own Fatima. Thank you, thank you so much. And that's what I want to bring to you guys each and every day, meaning I don't want to come and be a negative or talk about negative things every day or get all worked up and start fussing and getting angry about this and angry about that that's why yesterday when i ended the video i said at the end of the video right there's certain things in life that we have no control over because we are not god so yes we can talk about things give our opinion our reaction but we're not supposed to get all work up and, and upset and fussing because what is it going to change what is it going to do when God is the one in control, you can just give your opinion and reaction, but keep it to a place where you're not working up yourself, where you're going to get a heart attack or you're going to not be able to sleep. No, don't go to that place because if God got it, he's the person that is supposed to got it, not you. You ain't got that kind of control. So moving on down, let's see here. Welcome to everyone that's joined now. Uh, Patricia... Newman said, I'm living and learning so much about life. Have learned so, have learned some people should not have access to you. Amen. Access is a privilege. Some people who smile in your face just may have a knife in their hand. 
True. Let me expand that. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. So some people who smiles in your face just may have a knife in their hand. Very sad. You are absolutely correct about that, my dear. Absolutely correct. 100%. Thank you, ladies. I love all of your comments today. It's wonderful. Emmanuel said, and this is Mama's grandson, Emmanuel Deal Cromar, since I started following this platform, my life has never been the same. May God continue to bless you and Mama all. Oh, thank you so much, Emmanuel. Thank you for that. You are blessed. You are blessed. Sunshine Divine say, yeah, we'll always... <laughs> you was always a smart girl. Can't fool a beijing so easy, period, right? <laughs> beijing can't be fooled. You can try, but you ain't going to win. <laughs> Sorry, my people. Oh, my God. That's a beijing for you. Oh, my gosh. Trust me. I love all people. I love everybody. But when I see my beijing dialect, I got to talk. I'm like, <laughs> but thank you all. All you all are a blessing. Believe and trust and believe. You're all a blessing. And I told each and every one of you many times over and over, there's a reason why God brought all of us here together. There's a reason why God brought Mama to this platform. I just said that to one of our sisters this morning um, who's going through a situation as well. I told her, remember, trust, there's a reason why God brought Mama to this platform. There's a reason. Because he already knew that a lot of people we're going to grasp onto her. She's a woman of God. She's a woman of wisdom. She can pray for you. She has prayed and helped so many people to overcome so many things in their life. So many people that have testimonies, but they wouldn't share those things because personal, right? But there's a reason why he did that for all of us. And I am truly thankful, grateful, blessed, and honored to have her here each and every day. And I will never take that for granted. When I tell you nobody, nobody but God himself can come between me and my sweetest mama, my spiritual mom, nobody but God. They can try, but they will fail miserably. Um, so Chris, no, I don't know what you mean by that, or why you wrote that, but you know. All right, so example i'm going to use one thing here thank you so much kathy howard for 200 stars i appreciate you darling selma say you are so true we always think on our left oh lord let me see if i can see that part is blocked we always think on our feet be a giant. one moment be a to the world. Yes, you know, everybody else from different cultures, different walks of the world, they have their own things, their own culture. Um, Cece, I don't know, Cece, if you're listening, darling, I hope you're feeling better today. I know you said yesterday that you were having some a terrible headache, so I hope you're feeling better, darling. So Grace said, best, best general God sent for this wonderful Facebook page. The name of best general is their sister, Mama Massacre Mar, yes, exactly. And I, I don't have, I am not afraid to speak my mind and say how I feel about Mama because I'm so thankful and grateful to God and I thank God every day. I pray for her every day. And yes, I thank God for bringing her, embarking her here on this platform because we know that if God took you and like how he took Mama, to so many other platforms to find a place to speak for one woman who was being wrongfully done. One woman who was a victim. One woman that people were throwing stones at for no reason. Because they had no reason. She ain't never did them nothing. If God himself took mama to this platform, that platform, that, 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 that. Then when she was about to leave the blue app, because she didn't feel like she fit into another place to speak for this one woman. But just when she was leaving and she embarked on this one and she listened, she said, hmm, I think this is the one. God, is this the one? And he said, stop, stop. There's a reason. There is a reason. So many things has happened since mama has stopped here. So many, so many changes has took place. That's why I said there's a reason why he says stop right there. 
he sent his own, he brought his own general right to this platform. And I say all the time, each and every one of you are blessed because of that. Uh, Jarrell said, sometimes we need to love from a distance, less information people know about you, better for you, period. Amen. You said it, darling. Cassandra Ree says, don't get me wrong, but my true friends are my childhood village. That's over 50 years of love. Wow. I call them or show up in a time of need. The relationship is like that. I'm sorry. The relationship is like it was when we were kids. That's so awesome. Let me expand it. We will fellowship and love one another. I have many friends who have passed away as well. Sorry to hear that. They will always have my back no matter the situation. And that is truly amazing, Cassandra. It really is. That is amazing. And for your friends that passed away, may they continue to rest in peace. That's what it's all about, my people. But you, you at least you know. You know those people, meaning you know that they are some of the real ones right not the fake ones and that's for over 50 years of love that is amazing truly amazing and you're blessed to have that as well so amen georgia Reese says strength of good women we are amen and we're going to continue being that way because we're not going to allow anyone or people to change who we are we shouldn't allow anyone no matter what you go through whether it's a bad relationship bearing bad marriage bad friendship do not let those things change who you are because everybody's not the same you got some people that will say oh you know what i went through a bad marriage with this one forget it i ain't want no other marriage or the next marriage i get or next relationship i get oh i'm gonna treat that one this way i'm gonna be negative or everything i ain't gonna talk positive some people already build that up in themselves because why because of the hurt right they've been hurt so because they've been hurt now they categorize they want to categorize everybody out there the same way but everybody is not the same there's people out there that you can actually trust you just have to be very careful and not share everything because if you share too much and then they're going to spill it then you're beating up yourself about it uh, Anitra says she is truly blessed she and you say she I don't know if you mean mama but let me move on a little bit till you type again Linda Monroe said yes I have one true best friend and we've been friends for over 41 years well wow, that is awesome that's awesome all right, Vandalette said, we are truly blessed to have Mama on this platform. Yes, we are. So very blessed, I tell you. So very blessed. And it just said, my circle is in my life is very small. And nothing wrong with that, darling. Sometimes that's the way we got to keep it. Mine is as well. Very small. Very, very small. All right. I, can't, I cannot sit here and say that people that went to school with me way back when I was in Barbados, that me and them are still like friends, like phone call phone call yes they're still there if they they message and say hi how you doing haven't heard you for a while message like was um messenger on my regular page then yeah but not like phone call phone call you know what i mean it's not like that well let me see here so georgia reed said yes friends and family that pray together stay together amen sunshine divine said my husband said to let you know his true friend is his wife She's his champion and confidant. So sweet. I'm telling you, sweet peach. He like he's looking for something. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? Especially if he's still in bed. Mm, he wanna give you that sweet talk, dear. <laughs> Lord. That's a bit just sweet talk. But I believe him, right? <laughs> oh Lord. So that's a good one. So Cassandra Reed said, I agree with everything you are mentioning. Thank you, darling. 11 months is subscriber. Next month will be your one year anniversary, darling. It's showing me right there. So Georgia Reed said, I get hurt, but I don't dish out hurt to anyone. You shouldn't, right? You shouldn't. That hurt that you receive, darling, is just a lesson learned and move on, right? Lesson learned. And you're not going to walk down that same road. But you shouldn't dish out hate at all. Bella, there's a blessings to you as well, to everyone. Lizzie Johnson said, take everything to 
and take everything to God and pray is way to go. Amen. So true. Nana Monroe said, let me go up here one moment. The good thing about our friendship is we are not scared to correct each other. That's true friendship. Amen. That's the way it should be as well, right? Not that you correct somebody and they get upset or upset at you. They shouldn't. Because then that's not allowing you to be a really true friend. Or really looking out for them. I got their best interests, right? Sunshine Divine, tell your husband, mm, I see him. I hear that. <laughs> but Carol Reed says, seasons, greetings, sweet peach, and everyone else. Thank you so much, darling, to you and your family as well. Good morning, Barbara Davis and everyone else at Chai Shalom. Peace is ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Peaceful people, lovely people. We are about love, not hate, and blessed. Highly favored is who we are. Um, good morning, Lorraine. Welcome. Linda Monroe also said, other than my husband, that's the only true friend. We've been friends from since we were five years old. Wow, that's a long time. Oh my goodness, that's a very long time. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that have friends that they've been friends for a very long time. And then they get married, a man come into the picture there. And then all hell breaks loose, right? Meaning there's jealousy that starts stepping into place. It doesn't happen with everyone. But sometimes some of your friends, because you that's been your girl for so long. And you talk everything and you hang out. And then husband, man comes in the picture and things change. You know? But again, it doesn't happen to everyone. So we are about positivity always on this platform. We are not about negativity. Yes, days we will give our reaction and our opinion about things because that's what we do. We are living people and we are happy people and we want everybody to kind of be in that room as well. And when we see injustice, we're going to talk about it all day long, all month long if we have to, because injustice is not right, especially when it's being done to somebody that have not done you nothing at all in this world. And even if they've done you something, why are you going to go back to get revenge? Why? For what? You move on and you leave them to God. Move on and leave them to God. People that go and take vengeance or go and take revenge. What end up happening to them kind of people? Sometimes they end up behind bars or worse. Sometimes they get deleted. So just move on and say, you know what? Lesson learned. I ain't going to let that happen to me again. You know? So Claudette said, we ought to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not unto our own understanding amen our own understanding is what get us in trouble into trouble and you are absolutely correct absolutely good morning beautiful sonia pink and then everyone else shalita said i balance my relationship with my husband and friends absolutely correct you have to right otherwise it's going to cause problems so linda monroe said and i and i teach my kids the same amen that's good that's good so <laughs> Sunshine Divine said, I totally agree with your comments. The moment that we see you stop typing Sunshine Divine, we know the road that your husband gone down. Once you start to stop typing, I'm sorry. And I'm not calling out him or you, all right? So Georgia Reese said, move negative, forward positive. Period, period, dot, dot, dot. And we are going to embrace and celebrate people's wins, no matter what it is. No matter what good things they do in their life, we are going to celebrate it. As long as we hear about it, right? Because we don't hear about everything. We know that in this community here that we are in, it is. <laughs> this community is based on, you know, a situation. We all came together because of K.O. and her ex situation. That's what brought us, uh, brought a lot of you, I should say, here. But... Like Sunshine Divine, she know that she was on my page from the beginning when I started. So she know that I've transitioned into just talking and supporting like other people. But that's what we're going to continue to do because injustice is wrong. Very wrong when it's being done to somebody that has not done you anything at all. Let's see here. All right, Initra, you're responding to Linda. Uh, let's see here. Grace said, exactly, move on and leave it to God, period. Because some things are out of our control. In this life that God has given us, the suits that we are rented, 
these suits could come off anytime and you could end up six foot under because the suit is only being rented so yes we got to leave a lot of things everything to god we got to leave everything to god and know that everything is in his timing no matter where you're going through right now right negative or whatever it might be or bad whatever you however you might be looking at it you got to trust god he's the only person that can change your situation around yes you might think oh sarah came along uh, Georgia came along and she helped me out to pay that bill. But who allowed her to come along and help you pay it? It was God. And I put it up on her heart to come and help you to make a difference so that you could go and pay that bill. Or you could get some clothes for your children to go to school. It was God that allowed that person to put that person in your path to do it. Always remember that it's not by man but by God. And Anitra said, Sweet Peach, I was just commenting about Cassandra's comment about her village. Okay, Anitra, I understand now. Keep the loving lights going, my people. So Tina S. said, What a friend we have in Jesus. All our saints and things to bear. Singing loudly. Yes, I love it. Georgia Reese said, Yes, I remember when I joined your show. No mix up. No mix up wherever he over here. Right. Because truly, when I began, right? I began with my little cooking, doing my hair, my makeup. Every so often I might come out and say a few positive things. But truly when all of this happened with this one woman who I was already watching for years, her among other content creators, of course I was like, say what? What, what, what? Of course, so I had to jump on in and talk about it, right? Because it was really sad of what happened and how it was done. So how could I not, as a woman and as a mother as well, having a daughter, how could I not say something? So definitely, but God brought all of you, just like he put all the angels, I call all of you real life angels in place to be here for this purpose and this reason. And we know that evil when the dust settles, not saying that it's going to settle no time soon, because you know somebody said we got 18 years of negativity, 18 years of all of this. But when it settles to a place where we can just talk about life, things women are going through, men are going through as well. Because I know men listen to this and I don't want a man to think that we are biased and we're only about women. Even though we say women empowerment. Sometimes to empower women too, we got to tell women where they're going wrong. If they out there beating their husband because he ain't cook. Or shouting at the husband or just treating him bad. Sometimes you got to let women know that that's not right as well. So women, that's part of women empowerment, right? Empower women to do better also. So let's move on now. So Linda Monroe, you're responding to Anitra. Okay, let's move on down. Thank you all. Thank you all for the support, the love. Opal said, you are so right. Some of us are surrounded by people who want to know your every move. However, hey, do not reciprocate. They only aim, their only aim is to know everything about you so that they can, one moment, let me expand it, so that they can keep you in check and complete. <laughs> we need to pray to God for the sermon. Amen. You're absolutely correct about that, dog. Sorry. One moment. Yeah. Let me move on. And I don't know if anybody requested. Let me refresh that thing there, all right? Because sometimes it goes weird. Um, Gloria said, Gloria H said, I have a friend. We went to kindergarten together. Our first and second name is the same. Wow. Only our surname is different. Wow, that's nice. Is now, is now 70 years now. She is 73 and I am 72 will soon be 73 on the 18th of January. Oh my goodness, bless both of your hearts. Bless you. That is amazing. All those years. That's wonderful, Gloria H. Thank you for sharing that. That's a blessing. Sunshine, divine sun, yes. You're truly a wonderful person and you have really elevated so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Only God. Uh -uh, one moment. Let me expand that. Only God, but God, continue to be a blessing. This platform on these positive vibes, which can impact on others. Amen. Blessings to you and your family members. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you for all your support as well. I appreciate you. 
and all the others that have been coming from the beginning. Thank you so much. Let me move on down. So Georgia say yes, I understand with Kale. Every time, no fake in her in my life. Amen. Period. No, no, it's not good to fake or be fake or pretend because people will be able to see right through you eventually. Mar, can you bring me a napkin, please? So, okay. So Tina, Tina, you're responding to Claudette. Tina said, "I'm a daughter." Mar, hurry up. I'm a daughter of a napkin. I'm a daughter of a pass to my queen, LOL, it sometimes hates me. All right, I mean with the singing or what you posted. It was only God's plan. He brought us, thank you, in this wonderful Facebook page of Simply Sweet Peace. Sorry, my people. We give all the glory to our living God, Jesus Christ. Amen. You said it right. It's only God. And he did it for a reason, a purpose such like this. Because he knew that no matter what, when it's all said and done, we are going to be here still. And I've said that always. Even when there were people that said, oh, your platform is going to go down because of this. Oh, this is going to happen. You're going to lose followers. And I said, okay, if I lose some followers, guess what? That is okay. More will come. More will come. There will be more to come. There's many people that came. And they weren't even part of this story. They didn't even know nothing about K.O. or her ex. And they said they just embarked on it one day. And they listened. And they had to stop. They had to stop. Because when they heard all of these amazing women speaking. And the togetherness and the love. And the wisdom. They said, wow. I got to follow. And they pressed that follow. So some people mentioned that to me. They didn't know what was going on. Who is this KO? What's going on? I just embark and I follow, but I don't know what y'all are talking about. But they'll say it offline or type it. So when people said that, did I lose faith? No, nah, I didn't. Because I'm a strong believer and I said it all the time. It's not about the amount of followers I got. Even if 50 people came or uh, 20 people came and they listened, look, we got the word out there. Some others will come along and listen to it. So God knows what he's doing. And he knew the reason why he embarked all of you here. Because like I said, we're supporting the injustice in a woman who has been a victim. But how many of you got things going on in your life? So many people got things going on in their life. Their life is not all the best. Whether it's something going on with their health. Whether they're having problems paying their bills. Whether they're going through an issue with their marriage. So many people that come here has so many things going on in their life because nobody's life is perfect. No one's life is perfect. Even if you're okay, whether it's financially and you don't got no problem paying your bills, your husband is okay, you might got some other issues going on in your family, right? Maybe there's a rival going on, something else that might be happening. Maybe it might even be your health. Maybe something's going on in your body. Maybe you got news that you got, you got cancer. So many different things. So is your life perfect? Then no, it's not. Because something is not right. Something is happening. Right? So we should never beat down or be negative towards others who are going through. Because you don't know what when your day is coming or what can happen to you. Uh, Teresa Adams say happy birthday to you. To you who, Teresa Adams, um... I'll wait for you to type back, darling, but it's not my birthday. But if there's anybody's birthday today that we may happy birthday. And even if you got a birthday coming up before the year is in as well. Um, Lorraine C. Rose says, simply sweet peach year in review. Um, what do you mean by that, darling? If you mean that year in review, like what they normally give you, I haven't gotten that on this page. It hasn't shown me. Um, I don't even know if it's shown me on my regular page because I don't be over there a lot, to be honest. I go there to share videos and that's about it, which is not good, right? I don't look through the, I don't look through the feeds a lot, but sometimes I, I'm just not that Facebook, Facebook thing to go and look through all the feeds and see what people post. Sometimes my time is limited, right? Because I'm trying to run this page. I got my talk show page where we want to do just talk show things that are happening out there in life. Uh, different stories is what we bring on the talk show and then mama got the preaching so 
it's not, you know, I don't always have the time, but Claudette Miller said, 18 years, life is not in their hands. It's in God's hands. I agree. Amen to that. They don't know what the next minute brings. Exactly. God is in charge. One, well, God is in charge. One can yesterday assume. You're right about that, right? Because that person could say that they're going to call you all these names, all these terrible names for the next 18 years if they choose to infront their kids. But you are right. Who tell them that they got 18 more years on this earth, right? And if they got it, where are they going to spend it? Truly, they don't know. Only God knows. So those are boastful people that think that they just... They're just on top of everything, and they can just talk like that, not knowing that in the spirit of the second, you could be gone just like that, right? So, Sonia Pink said, good friends make good times better and hard times easier. True. Uh, uh, Georgia said, we go nowhere, period, period, period. We got the sweetest mama request to make the general her my spirit. We're gearing to another level, so let's continue going. Amen. And, uh, yes, I see your caption, and um, I want to say something about it, but I want to give some wisdom in that. Yes. Because there are many, 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 many going through a lot of stuff in life, mm -hmm. and sometimes they don't want to talk about it and because they are afraid. Yes. Of how people going to react to them, because people react many, many, many uh, or different ways. Right. People react to things differently, so people are afraid to even talk about it. Now, because when it, and sometimes when people talk about these things, the negative people take it and go and talk about it because they don't want to talk about positive things. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about positive things. They bank on negativity. And they are the same people that complain about negativity. Hmm. And they are the same ones that complain about negativity because they are negative. And because they are negative and behaving negatively, so they think everybody, you know, are like them. Yes. They will say the bad things about others, but if they do good, they can't talk about the good. Mm -hmm. Because they are not fishing for the, the good that they are doing. They are not fishing for the good that the person is sure. doing. They are fishing for what is bad. They are fishing for what yeah. is bad. So when they get a little bit of negative things about you, they will rather elaborate on that, mm -hmm. expand it like a, like, like a wildfire, spread it like a wildfire. Bad news can go like wildfire, True. but good news does not go. Thank you so much. Oh, they keep oh, the good. Telling, they sorry. keep the good. Sorry, mama. Hallelujah. Yes. They keep the good news in and spread the bad news. Yes. They are no help. These kind of people are no help to anybody. Mm -hmm. That's why many decided in their own self not to tell people nothing. Even if you are close to the person, they don't even want to share their 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 their, 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 their issue with you. True. There are some people sick. There are some people who need prayers. There are some people just need someone to talk to. Yeah. That's all their treatment. They just need someone to talk to. But now the world has changed. Mm -hmm. That nobody wants to say anything to anybody. Because if they say to them, then they dig a hole for themselves. Right. They dig hole for themselves. Because the negative people are more than the positive people. They have negative thoughts. They have negative attitude, negative behavior, everything in them. Yeah. Many are falling on the wayside because of these kind of people. They are very personal to the society. Mm -hmm. Very personal to the society. They are all over the place trying to make others feel bad and feel that they are the only one. Can you imagine, Sweet Peach, looking at someone who has not done anything to you, but you just made up in your mind that I would be negative against this person. They have not done anything. They have not said anything, but you just want to be negative mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Imagine those kind of people that have such a mindset. How can you change True. them? 
No, you cannot change them. They have such a mind, mindset because before you change a person, you have to change the way they think. Yes. And if you can change the person the way they, they think, you cannot change the person. You see? Yeah. Many of them. Look, uh, let me make, give you another, an, another example. Look at Cora. With all the things that they have been seeing about this case, yeah. her life is going up, but there are people so say more negative things about her. Every time she goes up, they don't talk about her. Mm -hmm. things, better things happening in her life, they don't talk about it. She just went and, and gave half, half a, a, a million naira mm -hmm. to people, to have people in their own country. Right. Right. You see anybody talking about it? Do you hear them talk about it? No. Because that's not what they want. That's not what they are gearing to. Mm -hmm. They want to say something about her that people will go against her. Exactly. That people will take her to be the least in society. People who do these things, they are trying to bring people down. They don't want to see people go up. They don't want to see people excel. Some of them don't even want the money. True. Some don't even want the money. But they want to accomplish their aim that they brought somebody down. They just want to accomplish the aim that I'm the one that brought them down. I'm the one that brought that person page down. Mm -hmm. They don't want no money, but they must just be part of evil. They must be a creator of evil. They must be an inventor of evil. But they forgot to know that there is a God Amen. above all that will come one day and execute judgment. Even if you think you are so power on, powerful on the earth, but there's a God who will rule judgment. He yes. will. Yes. Now, there are some things that we do. Like this guy, we don't hate him. But we want to tell him the truth. So that whatever he's doing, he should stop because it is in the interest. The, whatever the wife is doing is in the interest of their children. Yes. You cannot go against her just because you and her are not together anymore. She did not commit a crime for you to create evil against her. For you to grab people and bring them together and have special meeting for this one woman mm -hmm. to come down. Right. Because you want to see her down. You want to see nothing good in her life. That's considered in the, in the Bible as evil. Yes. That's considered in the sight of God as evil. So when people doing evil to some somebody, always remember, even if somebody's sick, you try to laugh at them, you try to create something to bring somebody down, you will get the pain. Amen. It wouldn't go back. Let me tell you, what happened to Uz or, or, or this boy and his brother? Or, uh, or, or, in, or, or Judah, two boys. The older one died. Got married to Tema and died. Nobody know why he died. God didn't tell us. The Bible is not in the Bible, but he died. But the second brother that died, we got to know what he did. What made God angry to do that? Why? Because in their tradition, they were supposed to, that, that when your brother married and your brother don't have a child, mm -hmm. but the woman that he married, the second brother or the other brother that is dead, supposed to marry that, that woman, to born children by that woman, so it can be an inheritance, an offspring for the brother that died. Mm -hmm. But because of wickedness in high places, because of his heart condition, because of the evil that was in his heart, the father that didn't know, nobody else knew about the evil. Not even Tema knew about the evil. In his heart, he did not want, the Bible says he did not want to have, to, 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 to born child by Tema for, that child would be for his brother, even the child would not be for him. But your brother is already dead. Right. That's envy. Mm -hmm. That's wickedness. Mm -hmm. Your brother is dead if you sleep with this woman that you marry. Because your brother is dead. But your tradition say when you born a child, the child, the child, the child will be for him. 
in your own mind your brother is already there your brother child is your child mm -hmm. you went with a woman you married to her now you went with a woman so therefore you born a child the child become for you and your brother who is already dead what kind of evil would be so much in this poor heart to accept the marriage to go in with her which is inter, i mean yeah no i was thanking priscilla for the stars sorry okay to go into this girl have a a, 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 a relationship with her but yet time for him to come then he take this semen according to the bible and waste it on the floor mm. because he did not want the girl to get pregnant mm. and he said that if the girl get pregnant the child will not be for him the child will be for his brother these are some of the things we're talking the hard condition of man that's what the bible says out of the heart flows the issues of life god called that thing that he did wickedness just because it will not be for you so it can't be for nobody else mm. just because it is not you it can't even be your own born brother mm. your brother that is gone where you should have been happy and say oh it is my brother at least when i born a child it will be for me and my brother but the both of them end up dying. God strike him dead for doing that and call him, call the wickedness that he did. And people don't know that when you see good things about someone yeah. or someone's life going on good because you don't want it like that and you do anything to that person, mm -hmm. God is watching you. Yes. Yes. God is watching you Thank and God you will pay you for that. Prayer. Mm -hmm. So you want negative things about somebody. You want to say bad things towards someone. You want to say evil against someone. Mm -hmm. You want to do evil against someone. But the good, the little good they did, you can't talk about it. Right. But you want to see that person down. What a wicked world we find ourselves in. What a wicked world we find ourselves yeah. in. They can talk all the bad things about you, but they will never say the good things about you. You can't do that. If you truly want to live on this earth and live good and live for God, you have to open your heart up. Even if it, I, I mean, I tell people, if you find out that you got something in your heart and it's just dead, sometimes those things can change. You just find it coming into your heart mm -hmm. or hatred. Just ask God, say, Lord, take this thing away from my heart. Yes. And we are going to a new year, 2024. Those things, they are hindrances before us. Because the Bible says he will take the heart of stone from us and give us the heart of flesh. If you find out that your heart is holding on to something that you know is not good, let it go. If you can't let it go, ask God to let it go from you. Amen. Let me not feel negative about people. Let me not say negative things about people. Because you can even have negative things in your heart. It's also against someone. It's also sin. Speaking negative things against them is also a sin. Then how can you say you have God in you when you have no love? You have True. no love against your, you have no love for your fellow man. 24 hours you are against your fellow man. And when they come on our platform here, they say we are against this individual. No, we are not against this individual. Mm -hmm. We are telling this individual what is wrong. Exactly. To do the right thing. What you are doing is wrong. Stop it. Go back to work. Go do something that will benefit you and benefit your children. Do better. What you did to her was wrong. She's not bothering you. Leave her alone. That's our message on this platform. Yes. But we never went to say, to go to, 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 to look at him and say, you know what, and this thing. Except sometimes we're having fun. We just mm -hmm. make fun and laugh. That, that's fine. Because generally, they, as the same thing he does, he come out and say things mm -hmm. and make fun of, uh, of fun of it. The same way other people would do. But to have negative thought 
of evil against him to bring evil against him. Everything we talk on this platform is something that he did or said. Absolutely. Something he did and something he said. And we come, we react on what he said and say, no, it's not going to work. So what's about you? You did a so, so, so. You went so, 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 thing. You said so, 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 thing. You did so, 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 thing. You shouldn't have done it to her. She's not bothering you. Don't go do it to her. Mm -hmm. That's our message. And we stick to that. And we enter 2024 with that by the grace yeah. of the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Standing on the truth to tell somebody that what you did was wrong. I don't care how you drag it on the quota, you drag it in, in the ocean, you drag it wherever you drag it. That's the fact here is we are not here to go after other people when we see them doing good. We can't talk about yes. it. Even if you hate Cora, nobody now can say what Cora is doing right now. Her own people cannot say, oh, Cora, and they will thank you. For what you did for the for the for the people in in nigeria at least say that mm -hmm. but no you kick the good under the rock then you say the bad things about her right. but the good thing she's doing you don't look at that good thing she's doing you bring it back oh you come and say that and the bad things that you are saying about her all negative just because you want money right that's wickedness in high places and these are the kind of people that work on Sunday morning going to church. Mm -hmm. What kind of money are you taking time from there or offering to put it in the church? For downgrading somebody? For bringing this girl down, using her name, talking okay. all kinds of things about her, joining people to call CPS. Joining people to bring her down to say the worst thing about her father, her sisters and everything. When you get this money, you people, some of you that are going to church, do you take time and offering from it and give it question. to the church? Right. Do you take time? Yeah, do you take time and offering from that and give it to your church? You pollute the entire offering of the church. You pollute everything for the Levites. You pollute mm -hmm. it. So your money that you got. It's under pollution. God said he doesn't want that. Because he said, if you have any issue against your fellow man and you brought gift to me, he said, put your gift at the altar and then go back and make it right. Then when you make it right, then you come back to me and give it to me. But how can you do all these things? And yet you say, you are one of the, one of, one of the best. People are making mistakes, slight mistakes in their own lives so and they think that they're getting it right. Making mistakes. You don't talk about the good, but the negative, that's what you can talk about. Because you feel that somebody told you negativity will give you money. Positivity mm -hmm. will not give you anything. So people who are posit positive, they are not getting no money. Right. You're getting rich and announcing how much money you're making. Mm. Announcing how much money. 250,000 that are just being negative. Imagine. Lying on other people. Bringing other people down. Mm. Going, dragging other people's family. Then you come from the incident. What will become of you when the, the day the blue app is not working anymore? Mm. What become of your life when the blue app is no more? Now we're getting to 2024. What else coming? Mm. The blue app, the blue app is getting advanced now. Artificial intelligence moving on. Suppose they change the terrain. Suppose they change another idea come in and they change their form of doing things. What will you do? You will stay far Cora where to talk nasty about her so you can get more money. Where hmm. will you see Cora and her children to call CPS now? Because the people got no contents. No, they don't have no contents. All their contents now is about her. Saying derogatory things about her. Saying nasty things about her. Mm -hmm. That all their contents now. Today, if Cora says she's leaving social media, yeah. that they can't get her picture, they can't get her video, they can't get nothing. Right. What you're going to do? What life you're going to live? What's your plan for 2024 is there, Cora?
talking bad things about her, saying not negative things about her. Is this the life? Is this the way to make money? Yes. Saying the, the worst things about someone, and then you get up and say, Well, um, I'm getting or two thousand dollars this month, or I'm getting three thousand dollars this month. That's that's worthless money. True. That's a worthless money. That money got no GD. Go take it and buy food and buy clothes for your children, for your children. But yet you want the whole children to be taken away from you. You want everybody to look at that she's not a human being. You want to treat her any kind of way. You take her name. Even God who created us said that we should not even use his name there. Can you imagine using somebody else's name? Right. Just for you to survive. What becomes of you? Now we got the whole world scattered. And these are the kind of people that were doing things even in their own very family. The, the blue eye just brought their behavior outside. Right. But they were doing those things in their own family before. Exactly. They did it to friends in school. Mm -hmm. And you always find people who do those kind of things. They don't go nowhere. Their lives go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Because they don't want to see anything good going on in anybody's life. Mm -hmm. They go in the church, they break down the church. They go into a gathering, they break down the gathering. They go into organization, they break down the organization. They come between friends, they break down the friendship. Mm -hmm. Any relationship they go through, they get friendly with you, they mm -hmm. break you and your husband. They separate you and your children. They do so many things. These kind of people are very personal. They are vampires. And they only come between people to destroy them. And you see, many of the people will not give any information now because they know what they've been through. Wow. They know what other people have done to them. Exactly. They know what has happened to them. Some of them have lost marriages because of a close friend. Some of them have lost children, family, relatives because of one evil soul that they got close to. Right. One evil soul they got close to that broke their whole family. And some of them just made up their mind and said, you know what? I'd rather just trust God and not trust no man. Because if I trust God, I will not be disappointed like I am now. Things will not happen to me like it is now. I rather just trust God. And I love those people that rather just trust God. Yeah. Because if you trust men, they will let you down. That is true. You can't trust anybody. You go and tell somebody your secret, they got a friend. That friend got a friend. The other friend got yeah. a friend. That other friend got a friend. It turned like a wildfire in the city to burn everything. And then when you go to tell that friend, you say, I'm only confined in you. I don't want to tell nobody this. I only want to tell you. Are you sure you're telling that person by the time you leave, they hang up the phone with you. They're calling their friend to tell them how you call them, what you told them, what you said to them. Then they go and tell their friend. Then their friend tell their other friend, oh, my friend called me, say, oh, friend. True. Doctor gave you a report instead of going to to, 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 to to God, you go and call a friend. That friend start to explain to everybody. Now you wonder how everybody know yeah, about your situation exactly. because you trust the one friend. And that's a friend that just leaking bucket or leaking bucket. No water can stay inside. Some people entire life is a leaking bucket. Anything you put in the leaking bucket, you can pour whole drum of water in the leaking bucket will leak out. It won't stay there. Mm. So before you talk to people, go talk to God. Tell your situation to God. Amen. Like I was telling Sweet Peach this morning, I don't yesterday or this morning, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I said, yes, I said, there was a, a doctor that was arrested that had people taking treatment, chemotherapy, and other things. Going through stress.
taking medication for cancer and he knew very well that the people didn't have cancer so sad the people okay. never had cancer mm. never had cancer and he kept telling them when they want go pump because he wanted to pay his, his school fees now that the same kind of thing we see on the blue app yes people lying to us they are doctors the man lied to people right. He gave people note to say when they want to go bomb because he want to pay his school fees. He said, you got cancer. They want got this cancer. This other one got this cancer. So they all were on medication. Now they found out the secret. He lied. Many have died because of this man. Mm. Chemotherapy for no cancer they have. No cancer they have. That's why we got to hold on to God. Not to always take what doctors will tell you because the doctors are looking for money. Mm. The doctors are most of them are looking for money. So if you if you depend on God, if you put your faith in God and not what the doctor say, because the Bible say your faith works, <laughs> but because the doctor told you something, so you the negative thing the doctor told you, you just believe it. Mm. And you believe it by faith in you that you got it. So at the end of the day, you said that any medication they gave you, oh well, we gave you six months, you can anything can happen. Uh, six more time, this one happen, and you start believing it. Your faith start working against yourself. Your faith working against yourself. Your faith working. Why? I told one lady one time we're working. She came from Liberia, she came. You know, she didn't know many things around here. Every day, I gotta go see my doctor. I'm going to my doctor, I'm going to my doctor. I said, for what? I said, I'm, I'm going for, for care uh, and, and uh, 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 my, uh, how to call it? Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, please help me. Yes. Yeah, she going to do. Mammogram. Memogram. That's right. You got it. She said she's going for memogram. I didn't say anything. They said, this is your first time. Oh no, I went there before and I did, and the doctor said I'm gonna go back again. I said, Do you know you are exposing yourself to radiation? I said, Do you know that? I said, every year, two years, they're telling you to go for chemotherapy. I mean, or uh, 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 memogram. Mm -hmm. Memogram. Do you know that when they take your breast and put on that thing, you they expose you to, to, to radiation? I said, do you know that? I said, but the doctors are not going to tell you. I said, do you know even uh, X-ray is exposing you to radiation? And they know about it. But the moment the people go, but I, but I, they're doing, they're doing, they're doing X-ray, they're doing X-ray, and there are certain people. We got different systems, different body. Mm -hmm. I say you took the 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 the, the, the memogram. The memogram said they didn't find nothing. Why continue going every two years? No. Why do you have to have that belief that it's possible? Somebody telling you your mother had cancer, so you must have cancer. Mm -hmm. Why? Why must somebody tell you your father had cancer, so you must have cancer? Those are all things the enemy releasing for you to believe. Mm -hmm. Say no. I will never. That's not my portion. Not because my mother had it. That's a had it. That's not my portion. My father died for cancer. My mother died for cancer. I will not die for cancer. No. Stand up by your faith and believe in that and say we're not happy. My God will take care of me. My God will heal me. My God is there for me. My God, you take your soul. You pray. I will not. God will take me out of this world. No sickness, no disease will take me out of this world. I will live and declare the glory of God. I will live to glorify God. No demon from hell, God, any sickness will take me. My God will take me out of this world. Do you know that many have prayed like that happened? Yes. There's a woman that was working with me. She came. They said she, she took a surgery, brain cancer. Surgery. Open surgery. So they did it. And then after, after I don't know how many years, she and I were working over there uh, uh, to the veteran home. 
-hmm. And then this day she walked to me, she said, Master, she was crying. Older lady. You know, she said, Master, I said, why are you crying? And that time I was not even snatched into the Bible. I was not into it. Thank you, Pastor. I could read the Bible, but I was not focusing much on my prayer time and mm -hmm. other things. I do whatever. Yeah. So they said that she came, she said, uh, the doctor said I will be dying in six weeks, six, oh uh, six, six months because the cancer Thank has jumped back. She took a brain cancer or, or, or surgery yes. after so many years. Then they came by, they call her the check. They say the cancer came back right back to the very brain. They say they did the surgery. Like so she came to me, she said, she said, uh, you know, I just brought my two boys and I is going bad. The people say I got six months. I say, sis Annie, sis Annie, do you believe that? Mm -hmm. Do you believe that you're going, you are a Christian? Do you believe what I told you that you're going to go? I say, you will not die. Mm -hmm. I say, I rebuke the word that coming out of your mouth. You will not die. You will live to declare the glory of God. Mm -hmm. I say, can I pray for you? She said, yes. I took one bottle of water and I pray and I gave it to her. I said, drink this water here. By the glory of God, by the power of God, you will not die. You will live to declare the glory of God. Amen. Today, today, she stay alive. Wow. Mm. And when she told me that. Thank you, Clarice. When she told me that, that was 1999. Wow. And the woman is still alive. 1999, when they told her she was about to die in wow. six weeks, six months. Wow. Mm. She stay alive. Imagine. So, God. your own faith can work against you. Yes. That's why you got to be careful what people tell you, what you believe. Negativity. Somebody tell you something negative about yourself, don't accept it. No. It shall not be. That's not my portion. Amen. Just declare because you got the power of faith in you. You got the power in you. There's a virtue. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. God, God wants you to hear something today. I'm sorry. The woman with the blood, the uh, uh, issue of blood, when she saw Jesus coming, she did not go to nobody to tell them, I want to go to Jesus. I got blood coming on me. I got this thing happening. She said, the Bible says she said to herself, I am going. To, I'm going to touch him. And when I touch him, I'm going to be you. Look at the power of faith. Yes. I'm going to touch him. And when I touch him, I will be you. And she went and did it. Because if the, in the Jewish uh, 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 custom, if she, if she had gone over there, and she was bleeding, and told them, say, I am bleeding, they were never going to let her touch Jesus. Right. They were never. So what she did, she didn't talk to nobody. The Bible says she talked to herself. I wish somebody would come and take the medical paper and they put it in front of you. Hmm. And you say, no, I disagree with this. Right. This is not my portion. Amen. A girl, when I came again, she, she, she had no child. She lived right here, Rhode Island. She didn't have no child. This girl came, she said, the doctor say, my age, I'm 35 years old, and the child will not come out good. The child will be a Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. And we were just keeping company. And she had the papers in her hand. And I said, why? She said, the doctor say, they, they, they want to put a needle in my stomach to mm -hmm. take the fluid from the brain. And then when they take the fluid from the brain, they will be able to tell me whether because they say they don't think the child will come out good. I said, you know what? I said, don't let them take nothing. How can somebody go into the child brain, right. the baby in your stomach, and now they're going to go to the brain of the child to go take uh, fluid from there? And they already know you're having a boy. I said, please do not. Amen. Tell them no. Tell the doctor no. You don't want to. If the child becomes Down syndrome, that your child. If the child becomes retarded by God, that your Amen. child. Let it be so. But don't let nobody take anything from the child. And I spoke to that girl in face. She said, I agree with you. I said, let it go. Now the only child they can have. The boy graduated. 
from college doing so good mm. and that's the only child she got that boy oh my do you know how many people have made mistakes because the doctor said we got to get fluid from the child brain we got to get this one from the child we got to be careful with negative people yeah. negative people will not carry you nowhere mm. even they, they say the aroma is the devil's workshop they go to create their own thing, they engineer their own thing, they invent their own thing yes. and come back and put it on somebody and somebody will suffer for it for the rest of their lives. You got your faith, your faith is powerful. That's your strength God gave you. And that faith, that's why he said, don't use it on anything, don't be afraid. You say on me, who gave it to you? I gave you the faith. Now use your faith to come to me. But don't use it in your fellow man, they will let you down. But yet we we'll take it from that direction and bring it to our fellow men. Look how much our fellow men bringing us down every day. Mm -hmm. Some people are resolved. They don't want to tell nobody nothing mm -hmm. anymore. Because when they tell people, people take it and go all over the place. Somebody get an issue, come to you, believe us. They're sitting in the church. Somebody come and tell and say, I got something can I share with you? Oh my God. Or open a whole can of warrant on that person. Yes. Nobody can pray for nobody anymore. Somebody say they got an issue, pray prayer with me. Then you want the whole world to know. You want the whole world to know that you pray for someone. You want the whole world to know what is happening in someone's life. Why don't you just take that issue for God to work on yeah. it and just let it go? And just let it go. If we continue to live the kind of life, it's a hindrance for even ourselves. It's a hindrance for our own prayers. If we continue to go against people who didn't do nothing to us, it's a hindrance to ourselves. Being negative is the is one of the biggest hindrance to be in front of anyone. And then when you get up and say, I'm trying but nothing happening, check out what you have done. Check out what you have done to someone. Check out whether somebody trusted you and you let them down. And go back and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. I may not understand or I can remember. But if I had done anything, knowing it or unknowing it, have mercy upon me. Yes. Let my life move forward 2024. Let me be the, the, the best person. Because some of us, God can't even bless us because we bless us, we could get more trouble. We yeah. even go against God Himself. Yeah. We go against our fellow man. We go against the things of uh, of God. Exactly. If you can just say, God, I want to be this kind of person. I want to be who you want me to be. I want you to open the door for me, open the way for me. Take negativity again away from me. Be positivity in my life so I would think positive about others. So I would say positive things about others. So I would do positive things. Mm -hmm. Then God will turn your, your life the way He God wants it because God is not a negative God, He's a positive God. It better you tell somebody the truth. Amen. Tell them the truth. And the truth will set them free. The Bible says we should do that. The Bible says we should tell people the truth. Yes. If you can tell me the truth, that's fine. You don't have to cuss me out. That's not where you tell truth. You don't have to say, oh, why is she talking or that you call me names? Or you say, what kind of woman of God that you say all those things to me? You are not even saying the truth. Because you know the truth. And you see somebody going down the drain with the with the with the first thing that they are doing. But you refuse to care the tell them the truth because you don't hit. You don't like the, 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 the opposite side, or you don't like somebody else, so therefore I'm going to the side of negative so I can hit that person down. Then you come back and pretend that you want to be positive. How are you gonna be positive when you got hit in your heart? You can never be positive. Exactly. You can never be positive. Nobody can be positive when with, with, with their heart dirty and bitter in them. 
just because somebody they didn't stay with you just because somebody they didn't they didn't agree with you just because somebody disagree with you so you are better against that person and all you want is to bring that person down will god work with you no, no god is not going to work with you god going to work with a person that is not saying nothing to you and you are trying your best you are campaigning to bring that person down yeah. god going to lift that person up. he said i will exalt the humble and bring down the pride yeah. so now you, the battle is not between you and the person the battle not the battle now is between you yeah. and god because yeah. you refuse to be humble you proud so god will allow your proud shoulders to come down then the one that is humble that he has so then he said he can bring kings down god said he can bring kings down he can bring president down so if you come today and we're talking about negativity and positivity I pray that people will get out of that. People will get out of that. Even your home, your own children, your own family. Negativity cannot carry you nowhere. It just stop you. If you try to bring other people down, it bring you down more. It bring you down more. Yeah. You were talking about someone you will say the worst thing about someone you make yourself you say you're making your name great how can you make your name great with, with negativity how can you really win with negativity when the bible say the truth will crush lie truth will crush lie i don't care how long it take for you to lie the truth will come and crush your head amen and truth came and crushed the head of the devil. Unknowing to himself. Truth broke his back. Love broke his back. So if you have love, if you have truth in you, walk in it. Everybody is not going to be happy with you. Right. But walk in truth. Don't walk in negativity. Because God will help you. God is the one that's going to stand with you. But you can't go after somebody that is not after you. You can't chase somebody that is not chasing you. You can't hurt somebody that is not hurting you. But he said, be the voice for the voiceless. Proverbs voice 31, voice 89. He said, you will be the voice for the voiceless. Speak for them. Speak justice into power. Speak truth into power. And you can't say, but why you put your mouth so, so yes, because I see injustice. Mm -hmm. And I have to speak the voice for the voice then. I see a young woman who don't want to who can talk. I see a young woman that is standing all by herself, only with God. Mm -hmm. Only God can help people to come around, help other women to be able to open their voices to allow their voices so they can be able to bring this the, the trouble out so she can move it's, it's so sad it's so sad positivity peace a lot positivity peace somebody is just positive imagine if this girl were negative they blew out would have gone upside down because she got more people she got more people if she were negative it would have been a, a storm on the blue eye yes yes it would have been a storm on the blue eye but she's keeping quiet she's very humble cora is very humble cora because of her humble lifestyle made me to love her more no matter how people go in, saying the most negative things about her yeah. and the good that she does, the good we talk about it, she continues to do the good and then they continue being negative. That's it. Don't you know that God will bless her more? God going to bless her more because she's not being negative like the others. Let us try to do better. Let us try to, 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 to look at each other as God look at us. As we come on this line, there are many that come on this line been through similar thing that Cora right. is going through. Exactly. 
she fight to bring her children up they say negative things she wear her own things she cook her own food they say negative things about her she everything she doing they just go and just say things and these people are all gearing to her every day just to say bad the idea they must see her now on social media they must see her now with her children they should they don't want to see her life going forward they don't want to see anything good happening in her life don't you know that there is a god amen and we will continue seeing it as long as god continue to shine her god continue to lift her up god continue to glorify himself nobody will bring chloe down amen she will go on. and any other woman on this line that are going through similar thing like cora i can tell you rest assured the god that will serve he's slow but he's sure he is slow but he's sure amen the day he's supposed to come he will come it took him 400 years to to, to speak to moses to tell him to go back to egypt and tell a pharaoh let my people go it will take god the time you're ready to speak in your life the egypt you are to move to take you from your egypt and take you where he's supposed to take you right rest assured don't depend on anybody being negative in your life mm -hmm. if your doctor is becoming negative don't listen to anything right. just focus on the positive path declare over your own life every day declare over your children your grandchildren life every day just make sure that you say you know what this coming year my children are going to be this way talk over your own children talk over your own life talk over your own grandchildren your mouth you are a child of the living god declare over your children this not going to happen to me that's not my portion not my children portion either that's not going to happen next year is an open door for me next year is a different life for me i declare that every day amen and that's your life there you go don't let no negativity come in your heart so that you speak it out of your mouth because the bible say life and death lies in the power of the tongue And all the issues of life flows out of the heart. Okay, if it's so, then every issue of life coming out of my heart got to be declared good over my own life. No way, no negativity. The power of life and death, I will declare life over my life, my children's life, my grandchildren's life. I will declare life because it is a choice. To declare death or declare life i declare life anything that is not supposed to be in my life i declare death on them because mm -hmm. i have life and the power of life and death in my tongue so what the one i don't want it to live i declare death the one i wanted to live i declare life the one i don't want to live i declare death then i'll be going for when i fire this way i said death then i fire the other side and say life right because well, i got the power in my right. tongue Amen. so if you wash your tongue and not to be negative be positive over your life and your children's life yes and god bless you woman of god continue doing what you are doing and god will bless all of you mothers Amen. pastors bishops anyone on this line may god bless all of you may god bless all of you we are going to another year yes. soon yes. but for the persistency and the the, the the kind of heart that you guys have to come on the platform every day every morning to speak for a young woman i take god to say thank you i thank god to say thank you for you choosing the side of positivity for you being on the side of positivity and not negativity amen may god bless you bless your children bless your grandchildren 
may god open doors for you may god enlarge in your territory may god break barriers from before you may god bring every evil antenna down that is monitoring you may god break down every walls of jericho in your life may god take you to another level may god do anything for you that you have eyes may god answer your prayers may god do great things in your life may god give you a double portion of favor in your life may god open the clear clear light for you to see may god clear and, and sweep everything before you every type from before you just because you stood up for someone just because you stood up for the truth Amen. just because you Amen. know the truth and you are still standing for the yes. truth from the day this thing started and we are going to another year may you enter with your two feet now one foot may not one foot stay behind may all two of your feet go you will enter with one foot and the other foot follow amen you will be able to see clear 2020 lenses your life will begin to see to, to see greater things for yourself greater things for your children you will be able to dream dreams and visions you will be able to put your life the way it god wanted to be you will walk the way god wants you to walk you will do the things your children will come in line with the word of god your children will begin listening to you your children will begin doing things that you want them to do that you see god doing in their life your children are listening to you the ones that were not listening to you they were listening <laughs> The one that were not doing good, they will start to do good. The one that were not thinking right, they will start thinking right. Because you stood up for the truth and nothing but the Amen. truth. Amen. And they will call our life going up. May your life go up. May things begin to happen in your own life. May great things begin to flow in your life. Oh, as Korah go up, may the people that support Korah, that standing for the truth, may their life go forward too in the name of Jesus. Those that stand into the place that God should continue supporting her, God should continue opening her way. May their way begin to open. May their children way begin to open. May their grandchildren way begin to open in the name of Jesus. May God shake the heaven and shake the earth to bring out blessings for those that stood up for the truth and stay standing up for the yeah. truth may he shake the earth may he shake the earth may he open the front gates of heaven and pour down blessing upon those people that they will enter 2022 24 with happiness with gladness with strength from god with power from god with grace releasing upon them mercy releasing upon you showering you with grace and mercy, with blessing flowing over your life. May God do this in the name of Jesus. And I tell God, thank you for you. I tell God, thank you for all of you. I tell God, thank you for Korah. I tell God, thank you for everything. Korah will not stop. She's unstoppable. She's unbreakable. She will not stop. She will not be missing. Nobody, anybody who play anything against Korah in secret, will be exposed anybody who make a plan to bring her down will be exposed and they will not be able to bring her down in the name of jesus because her level will continue going up her life will continue going up her children will not be taken away from her nothing will happen to her children her children are under strong protection god better has a protection around cora and her children they will be protected in the name of jesus and those that are plenty evil God will turn their evil back to themselves. Amen. And I say, God, you are almighty. Today, I don't know where it came from. It just came out of me today. Yes. May your people receive it. May they receive their healing. May they receive their happiness. May they receive their favor. May they receive. May the year come in 2024 be a different year. Death is not their portion. The casket has been broken. Father God, in the name of Jesus, every grave the enemy dug for them has been closed. Yes. In the name of Jesus, every casket has been scattered. Any sickness that is coming next year, 2024, will take that and throw away, will destroy it in the middle of the ocean. In the name of Jesus. And let God people now begin to see life better than it was. Amen. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.
Y'all be strong you, and courageous. We are about to go. Amen. And I also want to encourage them. Sunday, I'm going to do an ushering. I'm going to usher yes, Sunday. Sunday. For the new year. Yeah, okay. And I pray my message that I'm going to give Sunday. I'm going to do the ushering. I will do the yes. first ushering. Then I will come on the line and do the ushering. So that we can enter into. So everybody will hold on to the declaration. That will make mm -hmm. Sunday. Preparing us for, for Monday. Amen. I so I will do the ushering. My message on Sunday. Will not be preaching. Will just be ushering us into. 2024 you whatever i will declare come yes. with your faith come with your faith whatever i declare on that land receive your portion and you enter into the year with me okay. i bless you i bless you i love you come on sweet mama and pin. Yes. i'm pinning it right so now yeah i'm pinning it right now there for them sweet mama and peach, come we're doing the ushering, just all going with prayer declaration. Yes. Prayer declaration. I'm not preaching to your Sunday prayer declaration. God bless you. God bless you. Love you, you all. So much. Come with your oil. Come with your oil. Come with your water for you and your children. Amen. We are not going there empty. We're going in with power. Amen. We are Amen. empty. Okay. God God bless you. I love Thank you all. You. Even if you are not been coming, just come. If you are just been listening to the video, just come. Be there. God will be with you. Okay? God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye. Amen. Love you too, Mama. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. God bless you, Mama. This has been amazing today. Truly amazing. Thank you all so much. Thank Mama Massa Kramar, woman of God, God's general. I tell you. There's a reason. You understand it. You believe it now, right? I believed it from day one. It was just a divine, divine connection. And it's God is the one who made it happen for all of us. Not just for me, not just for the platform, but for all of us. You all are blessed. Tell yourself that each and every day. You are blessed. And I'm going to end it off here today because I want to put this video on YouTube as well. If you have not shared it, please share it out as well, because it's a very powerful message today that a lot of people need to hear, right? Mama said she didn't know where it came from, but it was God himself. And some days are going to be like this, where we're just going to have the word, the message that other people need to hear. And maybe it will give them that spirit, that connection to turn themselves around going into the new year and beyond but i love you all so much thank you for joining each and every day thank you for your support we're going to continue to support what's right to stand for injustice when we see it happening not just for this one woman ko but for any other woman out there going through and any other man as well who's out there going through that's doing the right thing being here comments and even if you didn't comment Thank you for being here each and every day. I love you all and God bless you all. See you in the next one.